Okay, in this problem they tell us that if n plus 8 represents an odd integer, the next large odd integer is represented by which of the following? So quick review with integers, right, that symbol for integers, we're talking about all the numbers that are whole numbers, so 0 and 1, all the positive whole numbers, and all of their opposites, negative 1, and then 2, and negative 2, and 3, and negative 3, and 4, and negative 4, and so forth. In this case, we're looking at just the odd amounts. So 1, right, and negative 1, 3, and negative 3, and so forth. Um, so our first odd integer is represented by n plus 8. And this gives us something, some odd integer. So we have to assume, for example, let's pretend that n equals 1. Well, if n equals 1, then n plus 8 does give us an odd integer. It gives us 9. But what about if n equals 2? Well, then n plus 8 equals an even integer. So here, when we plugged in right, an odd value, we got an odd result. When we plugged in an even value, right, we, we got an even result. And this will keep happening. So we don't know what exactly n is defined as, but it seems that by plugging in odd integers, this function, this operation, actually does produce odd integers. And if you can look at this one right here, when n equals 1, when would the next, what value for n would give us the next right, odd integer? Well, I would use n equals 3 because then 3 plus 8 equals 11 and that's an odd integer so that fits right plug in an odd value you get an odd integer but notice what they're doing here in this question is, is they're not really uh, telling us to pick values of n to plug in they're giving values to add by right so that, that if we plug in an, a value for n the what we're adding to it or 10 or 6 or 7 or 9 should give us the next odd integer. So we're assuming that that n equals 1 gave us an odd integer, right? Or, or excuse me, we're assuming that n plus 8 gave us an odd integer. So we can also assume, for example, that, that by plugging in 1, this would work, right? So n plus 8 gave us an odd integer. Let's assume we plugged in the value of 1. So how would we get to the next odd integer? How much more do we have to add? Well, adding 1 to this value, if we did n plus 9, right, that would bring us up one value. So whatever we plugged in, we could assume anything. If we plugged in 1, we'd get 9. The next number we get would be even because of the way numbers work, right? The way you've, I'm sure you've noticed this, is that numbers start, right, or it depends where you start, but we go even, odd, even, odd. Every time we increase by 1, we go back and forth between evens and odds. So if n plus 8 gave us an odd, if we add one more to it, we're guaranteed to get an even. So this one's out. Also, n plus 7 is out, too, because if we got an odd, n plus 7 is 1 less than 8. So we'd get an even, right? Go 1 up or down. Here, 6, if we add 6 to it, we're going down by, by 2, right? So n plus 6 would go down 1, 2, and that's a possible candidate, right, for an odd number. And then we have n plus 10, which goes up 2, to another possible odd candidate. Here is that both of these will give us odd integers. But the next part of the question says the next larger odd integer. Well, we have to go up by 2 to get the larger integer that's odd. Going down by 2 would give us an odd integer, but it would be less than. So here I would go with a to get the larger odd integer. All right, hope this helped.